we tried uh, uh, we saw the pond uh, full of algae the fishes were not visible so we made a uh, sand filter at home after a couple of days uh, the water is uh, so clear okay, let us see how to make a sand filter now in this video we are going to see how to clean this pond which is filled with full of green water we are going to make a sand filter without much expense at all. so to clean the algae in the pond we are now we have made a uh, sand filter using this uh, 20 liters bucket okay. it has worked uh, it has worked very well uh, you saw the clippings of the pond uh, what uh, we require is a bucket and a piece of uh, one inch uh, PVC pipe with uh, two coupler, threaded coupler, okay. And uh, you can use this uh, net to easily uh, different days we have all some papers and charcoal which has to be washed and a bit uh, half bucket of sand, okay. Now we'll see the process of uh, making this uh, cutter. Just one inch above the base level. Uh, make a hole using a sharp knife which should be heated it uh, comes very easily then take a one feet uh, one inch uh, PVC pipe one side uh, end with a dummy end cap and one side with an uh, inner thread coupling and fix fix uh, with an outer coupling so that uh, it doesn't leak even if it leaks it doesn't matter but uh, see it doesn't leak so that uh, the area around the bond will be Need and drink, bond or water. Okay. You can actually uh, drill uh, holes in the pipe. Is it visible? Drill holes in the pipe. Okay. Or if you don't have a drilling machine, you can just. Uh, I'll show how to cut it. You can use an uh, axe blade, and you can. This is only for a demo piece. Cut like this. Okay. So you can also use uh, this way where the water will enter into the pipe. But when you cut, I think it will be better if you use an, uh, a much larger pipe than uh, one inch, uh, like uh, one and quarter or one and half, so that the water flow will be easy. So you can just cut it and one side with a dummy cap and again fix it in the same way. And then on the lid again you have to make a coupling with an uh, uh, inlet. If you want you can just cut the inlet so that it will fit both uh, 3 4 inch and half inch. Take the bucket and try to put the charcoal as much as possible on the bottom. Pebbles are perfectly placed. Place the net on the paper. That's just to see that the sand doesn't uh, mix with the pebbles, so that next time when you clean the filter, you don't have to sit separating the sand and the pebbles. So we wash the sand because the dirt will come out. And should, be, uh, should not be too big or too small because too small what happens uh, we, we have to clean off it is too small and if the sand size is too big then it takes uh, a lot of time to filter the pond so what we have done is we have taken the uh, middle level sand just uh, this is called one side uh, threaded coupling 
uh, you can use uh, either this or you can use a reversal once it is complete to so just fix it uh, in this part or on the lid part so just tie it with teflon tape that's more than enough uh, water will not leak we are using double net for better filtration okay you can use you can use this uh, aquarium aquarium pump which you get for uh, 200 rupees in amazon or flipkart or uh, uh, you can buy it from it uh, uh, aquarium so that's it we are connected now we go just to the pond cut cut so placing this motor to pond and cut Okay, now we are going to remove the algae which is in the side wall. right now and the leaves and dry things which have been floating up so up on the water are being removed the filter has a very good effort working 